Oh yeah, pipe smokers. Happy Friday. Yeah. It's the 21st of June, 2024. Yeah. And it's hot outside. Yeah, it's like 84 degrees in my kitchen once again. Yeah, it makes my hair look good. So anyways, I got home today and uh, opened mailbox and it was full. Oh, people sending their pipes in to get clean and restored and dolled up. All kinds of different stuff. So um, <clears throat> actually I got uh, uh, two items in today from uh, James R., who I just emailed from Phoenix, Arizona, sent me this, oh my, this is a, not a cheap pipe. That is a gorgeous Savinelli, okay? And that is, uh, it's a Savinelli 1604. And that's beautiful. Now, that doesn't need any sanding down at all, all right? What we're going to do is we're going to, uh, it's got a bit of carbon buildup in it. So we're going to take that down to bare wood. Um, we're going to clean everything out. Salt and alcohol treatment. And then I'm going to go through a million, uh, you know, pipe cleaners cleaning the system out. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to, at the same time I'm doing that, we're going to take the stem, which has, it's got a little oxidation on it. And we're going to soak that in OxyClean for 24 hours. Uh, it doesn't, uh, the Savinelli, I think that was originally gold inlay. You know, it was kind of just painted on there. That's gone, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, we're going to make that shiny and black. This pipe is going to look new, and it's going to smoke new. This pipe, I love this pipe. This pipe just feels good in my hand. James, I just might keep this one for myself. So, uh, this, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we're going to make it look great. Yes. That, I've never held, I've seen these. I've never held one in my hand. It's, it's nice. And it's, the bottom's flat. You can set it on the table. So, uh, also in the mail, oh, by the way, Cheers everyone. Also in the mail today, I received two tins of tobacco. And my customers and subscribers just know what I love. You know, if you got trust in somebody to send them an expensive pipe like that, you've been watching my videos for a while, you know what I like. And uh, I, uh, I believe this is from James R. from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, sent me some Cornell and Deal Black Frigate. Man, that stuff. This is to die for because it's got two of my favorite things in it. Um, it has Latakia and Turkish, okay? But it also has rum in it, man. I've had this stuff. Actually, I'm just finishing off my last tin and was going to order some of this. So you know, you guys know what I love, man. Virginia is soaked and aged in rum. Ah, oh, to produce a true navy blend pressed and cut in an old-fashioned crumble cake. Oh, man. I love it. He not only sent me one tin, but he sent me two. He sent me Afternoon Delight by uh, another Cornell and Deal blend. I love Cornell and Deal. And uh, this one here... Uh, it's got, uh, let's see, maple and smoky campfire blended with the red bird and bright Virginia's fragrant Orientals, dark fired Kentucky and a touch of Latakia. Oh man, I've never tried this stuff, but I'm going to. So James, I believe that would be from you. And it came with a nice little thank you letter and so forth that said, uh, thanks for doing my seven hour. It's over here. Yeah, from smokingpipes.com. Yeah. Hey, Paul, thanks for offering to restore my Savinelli. 
It's on the way to you now, maybe already received. And I'm a newbie in the pipe world, so I didn't have anything in my collection to send you as a gift for your hard work. So please accept this token of appreciation. And welcome to the pipe smoking world, James. Welcome to the YouTube pipe community family. And I am going to do that pipe justice. I'm going to take before and after pictures of all my work. And I'm not going to send you the final picture. I'm just going to send it back to you. All right. And these are great gifts. This is what I love. I'd rather have this than cash. Thank you so much. Man, I love it. I love it. I do. And this is going to my little chest of drawers. Uh, I've got a little scrapbook that I keep all these notes and letters in from my subscribers and customers now. So, you know, we're going on, um, let's see, you've done five pipes for Eddie. Eddie got us pipes today. Eddie was so excited. He texted me. He's like, man, I love it. I got them at 10 o'clock last night and I was smoking some of your RPG number seven, Captain Blood's Revenge, and it made my mouth buzz or something like that. So he liked my blunt that I made. And then, uh, so we got Eddie's pipes. I've got Garrett's pipes that I'm about halfway through with. We've got um, uh, I'm keeping them all straight here because uh, I've got David's David's two pipes that uh, are next. And then um, yeah, and then we're, uh, James, we're going to make this pipe look so beautiful. And I was, when I first looked at it, I was like, how oh, am I going to polish down on the crotch there? And then, eh, I got away. I'm not going to tell you how. It doesn't matter. Cheers. Anyways, we're going to take a break for a second. And I want to set something on fire. I want to talk to you about um, some things that a pipe company did that was really great for our Vietnam veterans back in the 1960s. We'll be right back in a nanosecond. Maybe someday I'll be on TV and I'll be like, we'll be right back after the station identification. Who knows? Alrighty, pipe smokers. So, um, back in the 1960s, uh, there was a pipe company called the Willard Pipe Company. And they sent thousands and thousands of these pipes to our Vietnam veterans over in Vietnam in the 60s. They were soldiers, and they sent these over to them. Yep, and I own one. And if you ever get a Willard like this that you see, it's a great smoker. Um, it's all polished up real nice. I did that. And uh, this one has like a little stinger system on it too yeah so um i haven't smoked this pipe in a while got some two friends celtic mist in it and uh yeah seems to line up real nice pretty nice let's start it on fire mm. Yeah, they did that uh, free of charge for our veterans. Can't imagine. I, I missed Vietnam by seven years. I still did have to go down. They had, well, when I turned 18, the draft was over, but they still had what was called the selective service, which basically you were signing up in case they wanted to reinstate the draft. You know, and I turned 18 in December 1982. I had to go to the post office. What a great, great smoking pipe. Mm. 
so James from Phoenix, Arizona, you're new to pipe smoking, man. Congratulations. Well, if that's your first pipe, that is a dandy. That is one sweet pipe. And she's just going to be looking sweet as sweet can be when I'm all done with her. Still working on Garrett's pipes. Trying to get a little bit of a stain out of there. It's coming along. I actually have two and a half of Garrett's pipes done out of five. Oh, man. It's <sighs> two friends. Celtic mist. Tastes so good out of this pipe. I don't even remember how I came about getting this pipe, but when I got it, the briar was all kind of dried out and everything. And so I just put her on the good old polishing wheel. And man, I mean, that the shank has some really beautiful briar on it. Uh, and I can see why they rusticated it. You know, it's got a couple of factory fills that, you know, if you bought this pipe, you might not even notice unless, you know, you work on pipes and stuff like that. Learn Pipe Company. You can pick these up on the cheap side. Like I said, they're great smokers. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see what that looks like when I'm done with it. Because I know it's going to look really nice. It's got some beautiful briar. There's no factory fills in that. There's no factory fills in a Savinelli. <laughs> nope. And you'll never find, believe it or not, even though K. Woody is considered a drugstore pipe back in the day, you'll never find a factory fill in a Graybow ever. If the pipe maker was making a pipe, if they found a sand hole, because K. Woody owned their own briar company, if they found a discrepancy in the briar, they'd send it off to Yellow Bowl or two or three other pipe companies. Hmm. Start to heat up just a little bit. So we're going to let her be. We're going to take a break for a minute. We'll be right back. Uh, all righty. So let me get a beer. I got a 12 pack down here. Yep. So I appreciate all these pipes coming in. I love working on them. Hmm. By the way, when I was taking my little break here, James, cleaned off the top of that bowl that had all that crack, crap all over it. And you can't see the inside, but, well, it's actually uh, all scraped out of bare wood on the inside of there. 
It's got a nice little chanfer on the inside of the bowl. Top of the bowl's in real pretty nice shape. Uh, it looks like maybe somebody might have banged it on something a couple times, but nothing nothing bad or not, nothing like that. You can see it right there. Maybe it's just little burn marks, but top of that bowl, all that creosote. Carbon buildup is all cleaned off. I don't want to go any further with that pipe. I was just sitting here at the table having a beer and a cigarette and did that. And there was a fair amount of carbon in there. You can see it all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm not going any further with that pipe because I want to get some before and after pictures of that. I wish I didn't take that stuff off the top of the bowl already. That have made a good grimy before picture. Hmm. Well, so keep sending me your pipes, guys. Huh? Anyways, I'm going to go to work on these. I got Garrett's pipes. I got to sand down. And uh, tonight I'm going to throw uh, this stem in the OxyClean bath. We're going to de-ghost this pipe. Yeah. Then we'll boomerang it right back to you there, James. Mm -hmm. Love the blends, by the way. Absolutely love the blends. Thank you so much. Paul the Pipe Guy, ah, over and out. Happy pipe smoking. <laughs>